Hello, this is Tim Law with Plan It Forward Coaching and Self-Reliant You. Always remember your life, your dreams, your goals, and your career are all essential. A uh, big thank you to over uh, 350 people that have subscribed to this channel. Very much appreciated. Also remember, whatever your mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Uh, really feel uh, a young man here that I've gotten to know real well. Uh, played tennis for me for the last uh, four years. Uh, a little bittersweet because I've had a, uh, a Seidel, Sam Seidel, and now Seth Seidel for a total of six years. Next year, we won't, unfortunately. And uh, however, we're really delighted to have him with us here today. So welcome, Seth, and tell us a little bit about yourself, your story, and everything like that. Love to hear from you. Uh, hello. Thanks for having me, Coach. My name is Seth Seidel. Um, as you said, I'm the brother of Sam Seidel. I play soccer and tennis at Northeastern. Um, I also play at FC Valley Hill Club Soccer. Um, yeah. So what, uh, what are some of your best memories as far as uh, sports and everything are concerned or school uh, as far as, uh, uh, you know, coming up through here? Um, I had a lot of memories from tennis, you know, playing with a with great team um, my sophomore year, you know cheering on my brother, um, Eric, um, Josh, Lance, Ryan, Tony, that team, Hayden, um, just cheering them on. I had a great time there, my, but my probably my favorite memory was playing the, with the soccer team and winning the uh, county championship with them. It was just, it's great winning with my friends, just, just had a great time. Yeah, and that was your senior year, right? Yeah, it was my senior year. And, and now, now what, what position, uh, Seth, did you play? And then, you know, you guys had a lot of guys that made the all-star team. We talked about this a little bit back in the fall, but I'd like to, you know, kind of review it and everything. So the position you played, and I know you, you made uh, the all-star soccer team there. Yeah. Um, so throughout middle school, I played a uh, right back, but um, sophomore year, Coach Shoemaker thought I should play a uh, right mid. So I'm on the wing now with uh, – it's me, Mitchell Kling, and Ryan Dragu all searching out in the wings. Um, yeah, the county team, we had the first county team. We had Troy, Brandon, Shirk, Troy Billings, Brandon Shirk, Evan Gibbs, Josh Taylor, um, Sam Gatchel, and then Alex Afada, of course. And then our coach got coach of the year. And then um, so the second team was me, Brian Warner, Caleb Snyder, Brian Warshalak. Yeah, that's that's certainly uh, obviously a, a great bunch of guys, that, and and everybody contributes certainly as far as a team is concerned. And uh, how long have you been playing with some of these guys, Seth? Um, a lot of them. It's been a long time. Like Nisa, probably when we started, it was like we all played Nisa soccer together. We all played rec soccer against each other, and then throughout the years, we all played each other. Um, we played with each other. I played with like. Trishan Schrodner, Brian Warner. I played with all of them for a long time. Um, but yeah, the team has just been put together. We've been together for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what other memories as far as uh, school are concerned, uh, Seth, uh, you know, maybe outside of uh, uh, soccer or, or tennis? I know you and uh, Evan Gibbs teamed up real well as far as doubles were concerned. You had a very good uh, single season yourself playing number one singles for us at, at Northeastern. Uh, you know, great support by the school, you know, administration, you know, a lot of the teachers and parents and everything. Uh, what were some of the other things that you um, will, will kind of carry as far as the, the memories of coming up through uh, Northeastern? Um, big one was, you know, winning homecoming prints. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, you know, just having fun with my friends, you know, going to basketball games, football games, just celebrate with the student section. It was, just, it was just a fun time. Yeah. yeah there's, there's a tremendous uh, amount of uh, school spirit with the, uh, with the Bobcat Nation there and everything. Uh, who would you say, uh, Seth, as far as, uh, you know, you mentioned uh, Coach Shoemaker and, and, and uh, uh, as far as other teachers that, you know, you kind of remember or whatever that, that kind of helped you along the way, who would you uh, kind of give credit to there? Um. One big teacher that had a big impact on my life was Mr. Tate. He was our graphics teacher. He introduced me to graphics, which is going to be my major in college. Okay. And, and uh, where, where are you planning on going, Seth? Um, I plan on going to Susquehanna and following my brother. He went okay. to Susquehanna as well. 
Good. Now, is, is the campus big enough for two silo guys up there, or are you guys going to be okay? What do you think? I hope it's big enough. I hope, uh, I hope I can, you know, stay with me a little bit. Yeah, no, I, you're going to do great. There's no question about it. You know, and then there's a, that guy, Josh Sanderson, will be up there, too. And, uh, you know, he was uh, – he was a big, uh, big guy on our team there from a couple of years ago. So, so uh, now you say you're going to, uh, as far as uh, the graphics are concerned, how, how did, um, how did Mr. Tate, uh, how did that spur your interest as far as, uh, you know, going in that direction? Tell us a little about that. So um, when I first came to the high school, I, we had to see what we were interested in and stuff. And my mom saw graphics on like the recommendation and she was like, you, sh you should do that. It would be like, it'll, it'll be good for you. I think you'll like that because she knew I like drawing and stuff. But um, I, I was like hesitant on it, but I ended up joining the class and Mr. Tay really, who's a nice guy, he really introduced me to it. It was just, it, it was a good experience in intro to graphics. And since then we went on to graphics one, graphics two, and then I took three and four this year. So it was just, it's just a really good class. Sure, sure. Sounds like it. Well, here's here's the million dollar question for you, Seth, and, and I'm sure people watching this might be asking this as well. Uh, and, and, and I know your family very, very well. What's what's it like to have your mom be superintendent as far as the school is concerned, as far as, um, you know, you or your brother, you know, coming up through there, um, you know, ha having to uh, have that uh, scenario, I'll, I'll call it. It's great. Um, my favorite memory actually was, um, crossing the stage and going over and seeing my mom and shaking her hand after graduation. I think I thought that was really fun. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I know she ironically, cause I know the graduations were split in two this year and I happened to see your mom in the cafeteria in between the graduations. And I asked her how she was holding up and she, uh, cause I knew you were coming up alphabetically and everything for the second graduation. So I knew that it was going to be a, uh, Oh, you know, uh, bittersweet as far as that's concerned and, and a, you know, potential challenge. And I, I think she probably held up pretty well, I would guess. Yeah, I was watching the first one online because, you know, they're split. So I watched the first one on YouTube because they live streamed it. And I heard my mom tearing up. And but I guess she gathered herself together for the second one. And she wasn't as sad in the second one. So she was prepared for that one. Sure, sure. Well, and, and you know, obviously, she's, she's got a great relationship with, you know, this a lot of the, you know the staff a lot of the kids and everything like that and but to see her uh her second son uh, you know go through graduation and everything obviously had to be uh uh you know um interesting challenge for her to be able to you know kind of go through that what um uh seth if you could give advice to um any kind of the up and coming kids i always like to ask you know some of the students that i've uh, spoken to to uh you know uh, give their thoughts as far as what, uh, you know, these freshmen, sophomores, or even eighth grade kids, what do you think, uh, if, if you could give them a, a piece or two of advice, what would you be saying to them? Um, I'll say the time goes quick here. The four years go by so fast. It was like, I felt like it was just a week ago. My eighth grade teacher, Mr. Raymond, mm -hmm. my social studies teacher, he was giving us advice and he was like, yeah, the four years go by so fast and I didn't think much of it. And then next thing I know, I'm a senior crossing this, this stage. It's crazy. So I would just say, um, try new things, you know, it's, it's a big time. You can, um, try a bunch of stuff, get into new things, you know, um, I would also say you want to not get caught up in the drama. You, you don't want to look back on years and regret anything. You want to enjoy your time in high school, just have a fun time with your friends, you know? Um, but yeah. Very good, very good. Well, Seth, this this has been wonderful. Any last second thoughts on uh, on anything here that you, you might want to say or share with us here? Um, I don't think so. Thank you for having me. Okay, well, I you know I got that Troy Billingsley, that Ryan Smith guy, and uh, Evan Gibbs on there, so I had to get my you know our, our number one singles uh, player on here, and it was trying trying to catch you was kind of like herding cats, but I know it in a good way because you're, you've been so busy and everything. So really glad to have you for sure. So if you could yeah, stick you. around for a, just a second or so after I, I stop the recording set, that would be great. But thank you so very, very much. Hey, thank you.